Hello and welcome to Stock Dork, your source for the best stock market trends and investment opportunities on the internet. Today we're about to unravel the intriguing saga of a company that almost broke Wall Street just a couple of years ago. Yes, you guessed it right, we're pulling back the curtain on GameStop ticker GME. You see, after its insane rise and fall in 2021, GameStop stock left millions of everyday investors asking, is this the end of the line? Well, buckle up, because now, roughly two years later, it looks like that may not have been the end of the line after all. In this video, we're going to dig deep into whether GameStop is gearing up for a monumental comeback. But before we dive into it, we'd love if you could smash the like button and hit the notification bell to make sure you stay notified when we release a new video. Okay, without further ado, let's rewind for a second and revisit GameStop's wild roller coaster ride. How it all began. Back in 2021, GameStop, an iconic brand in the video game retail space, unexpectedly became the centerpiece of a seismic event that shook the very foundations of the stock market. The company which had been struggling to stay afloat amidst the rising tide of digital downloads and online marketplaces was struggling with significant challenges. Its brick and mortar business model was dying as customers preferred the convenience of purchasing and downloading games directly on their devices. The future looked grim and many questioned if GameStop could survive this digital revolution. But then something extraordinary happened. So what's what Jamie's uh, just pulled up with that and what Tim was talking about is this insane situation that's happening. It started out with GameStop on uh, with with these these intelligent vipers from Reddit decided they were going to figure out well what what they here's the thing. Wall Street speculation and these people that have been these hedge fund guys They've been manipulating the stock market in a very similar way forever. Yeah. But these guys on Reddit decided to get together collectively. And what is it called? The, the, the subreddit Wall called Street Wall Street Bets. Bets. Yep. So Wall Street Bets decided that these hedge funds were shorting GameStop, right? So they decided we're going to buy GameStop. We're going to fuck their whole system up. Just to boost GameStop. Yeah. Stock. Well, just to see if they could. Yeah. And just, they, it's <clears throat> fun. It's fun. So they, a bunch of people bought GameStop stock. GameStop stock rose higher than it's ever risen in the entire history of the company. Hilarious. I think it was up 11,000%. Is that the case? In the chilly month of January 2021, against all odds and market logic, GME stock price soared by an astronomical 1,500%. This meteoric rise was not only unexpected, but also an event that left even the most seasoned Wall Street analysts scratching their heads in utter disbelief. The plot thickens when you realize the role of the formidable hedge funds in this saga. Take for example Melvin Capital, a heavyweight in the world of hedge funds. Melvin Capital, along with others, had been relentlessly shorting GME stock, a move often seen as a bet against a company's future success. In layman's terms, these hedge funds were essentially borrowing shares of GME, selling them off, and then planning to buy them back at a lower price later. The goal? To profit from the difference. This strategy, while commonplace in the high-stakes world of Wall Street, relies on the company in question continuing to struggle. But the Wall Street Bets community on Reddit, a group of passionate retail investors, had other plans. They were closely watching these hedge funds short GameStop and decided to challenge the Wall Street bigwigs head-on, leading to a showdown that would go down in history as a legendary short squeeze. The audacious move by the retail investors sent GameStop's stock price skyrocketing, causing multi-billion dollar losses for the hedge funds who were shorting the stock. The tables had turned, and the financial world watched in awe as a band of retail investors took on Wall Street's giants. It was a classic David vs. Goliath showdown that captivated the world and turned our understanding of stock market dynamics on its head. But as quickly as GameStop stock shot up, it crashed, leaving investors shaking their heads in disbelief. Now. With some recent developments, investors are scratching their heads, wondering, is GameStop gearing up for an epic comeback? Could this infamous stock be on the cusp of a legendary return? Let's dig in and find out. In January, GameStop revealed its fourth quarter earnings, and guess what? For the first time in two years, the company is in the black, raking in 48.2 million in profits. The company made a massive U-turn from last year's 147 $0.5 million loss. This sparked a surge in stock price, shooting up 50% after the release as investors celebrated the company's financial turnaround. 
But the million dollar question is, how did GameStop pull it off? After its explosive growth in 2021, GameStop dipped its toes into the world of NFTs and crypto, hoping for big returns. But these turned out to be passing fads and failed to deliver the expected return. GameStop also launched an e-commerce service, but had to hit the brakes due to a drop in revenue. These setbacks fueled a return to its brick and mortar roots. And judging by its recent quarterly earnings reports, it looks like that was the right move. But hold your horses. We can't credit GameStop's recent profits solely to its brick and mortar comeback. GameStop also slashed general and administrative costs by about 16%. These cost cuts turned out to be a key driver for its success in the fourth quarter. This leaves investors pondering if this meme stock is making a comeback and if another short squeeze is on the horizon. Remember when investment firms like Melvin and other hedge funds shorting GME in 2021 lost billions? Well, with GameStop's potential comeback and the rise in its stock price, these short positions are starting to sting. So, the burning question, is it time to buy GameStop? Well, it's not that simple. GameStop has always been a hot topic among investors. One reason why many investors maintain a short position on the stock is the nature of its business. Changing Times GameStop is a video game retailer operating through its retail stores across the country. But like we said earlier, the video game market is rapidly transitioning from physical format to digital downloads. In 2021, there were 2,182 video games released by digital downloads and just 2,226 released by disc. As technology advances, more and more video game companies are ditching discs and opting for digital downloads. This spells potential disaster for video game retailers like GameStop, who rely on the sale of physical copies for their revenue. But hang on. Right before the short squeeze, the company was reporting solid fundamentals and had a new CEO on board who investors believed would lead the company into a new era. This dichotomy triggered the ensuing short squeeze led by Reddit's Wall Street Bets community against the big hedge funds. To this day, many investors are still holding onto GME, hoping the company will return to its glory days. And with its recent earnings reports, it may seem like GameStop is making a comeback. But don't get too excited just yet, GME believers. GameStop can chalk up its profits last quarter to aggressive cost cuts, but that's not a long-term solution. Using cost cutting as a quick fix might hamper the growth in the long run. We might look like an expense, like R&D, could be a vital investment opportunity. Cutting back could slow down the company's growth in the long run. For long-term stability and profitability, it's clear that GameStop needs to pivot into a more profitable market. Some analysts believe that its lucrative market is e-commerce. In 2022, GameStop revenue from e-commerce took a 50% hit year over year. Even though GameStop had to pause its e-commerce efforts due to poor results, it might still be a way forward for the company. These poor results might be due to the company jumping into e-commerce when consumers were migrating back to buying goods in stores. Plus, when it launched its e-commerce business, GameStop spent most of its advertising budget on its NFTs rather than e-commerce. With its name and cult following, a shift to e-commerce for technology could give the company a recognition and revenue it needs to fulfill investors' desires. And this is definitely worth considering. Also, GameStop is sitting on a hefty $1.4 billion in cash. If these funds are used for smart acquisitions, it could change the game for this meme stock. And before you make up your mind about GME, consider this. Insider buying. This year alone, director Larry Chang scooped up 5,000 shares of GameStop, bringing his position to 44,000 shares. Another director, Alain Atal, bought 1,500 shares in the company. And guess what? Chairman Ryan Cohen also snapped up 100,000 shares in the company. While insider buying might encourage a buy position on this stock, with GME's roller coaster history, investors need to do their own deep dive into the company before making a purchase decision. Even though GameStop outperformed analyst estimates in this fourth quarter, reporting a revenue of $2.23 billion over analyst estimates of $2.18 billion, not everyone is convinced that the company's new strategy will make a difference in the long run. In fact, some analysts predict that GameStop will slide back into losses in the next quarter. While investors eagerly await the release of its next quarterly earnings report, GameStop believers can hold on to CEO Matthew Furlong's belief that the company is on its way to a full year profitability. And there you have it, a deep dive into GameStop's potential epic comeback. Will it fly high or face more turbulence? Only time will tell. Now, we wanna hear from you. Do you think GameStop is gearing up for an epic comeback? 
Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.